Every business wants to drive great numbers and if we want to really think carefully about how can we find that extra in our organisation, I think there's four areas that we can look at. Oh gosh, this chair's going to collapse. First of all, we can consider in detail the environment that we have in place for our people and for our customers and partners and suppliers to work with. If we're energising to work with and for, then we're much more likely to be successful. Creating a fantastic environment inside an organisation, an environment that truly inspires and engages everyone who works with us, is actually quite a complicated task. And I think there's many parts of an environment that we can look at. The more consciously we think about environment, the more likely I believe we are to be successful. Secondly, our leadership team is making day-to-day -day decisions. And I think the more commercial our leadership team, the better the quality of our decision making. And of course, we expect the CEO and the head of sales to be very commercial in outlook, but typically we won't find every role has quite such a commercial outlook. So focusing on the commerciality of our leadership team and ensuring our leadership team is commercially confident I think the better the quality of the decision making that we, we will find in our organisation. The third area I think we can focus on is our sales professionals. Our sales professionals often are very product focused. They'll be thinking about the product, but they won't necessarily be thinking about the business outcomes that they're trying to drive in their customers and their prospects. The better we can equip our sales professionals to get in the mindset of our customers, to get in the mindset of business leaders, to really think about business outcomes, and of course this takes education, training, coaching, guidance, experience, the more likely those sales professionals are to be successful. So I think if we can equip our sales professionals to be really commercial in Outlook, that can really help us. And I think the fourth area is to think about those individuals that are frontline, day-to-day -day dealing with customers that aren't sales professionals in orientation. They quite possibly will be pre-sales, post-sales, ops folks, customer services folks, they may be leading projects on site. Those individuals that already have some sense of a relationship with customers are in a fantastic position to be able to find greater opportunities for us within those accounts. And the more that we can equip those folks to be commercial in orientation, but also very focused on how to go about building stronger relationships with our, with our customers, then the more likely we are to unearth opportunities and the more likely we are to be successful. So I think those are the four areas that we can really focus on if we want to drive additional numbers. How well do we perform as an organisation across those four dimensions? Whoops. <laughs>